Welcome back to Talking Horses. With us is Elaine Cardillo. Now, this show has a special focus on natural horsemanship, mm -hmm. and you believe there's an important message to get out there. What is it and why? I really do. As a, as a certified riding teacher, I find it's very important that people understand her dynamics, natural horse behavior, before they ever get into the saddle. Because if you don't understand those, the way a horse thinks and the way he views the world and the way he reacts to the world, you're not going to be safe when you're riding. And so it's really important to learn these principles before you even get on. Well, safety is the most important thing. I mean, we, I mean, you can die. Right. You know, yeah. and you know, many of us have been hurt at one point or another, I can yeah. speak personally, <laughs> but uh, we'll get into that another time. But no, safety is so important. It really so is. So you really need to know about horse behavior. It really, really is. And also it's fun. It's, it's yeah. so much fun to kind of get into their head and, and, you know, see them respond to you in a way that they would respond to each other. It's just so enriching when you can do that. I, know, I tell people, I say, I play with my horses. Yeah. They're like, what do you mean you play with your horses? How do you play with a horse? I'm like, oh, it's great. You'll see. It's, it's so, so much fun. Much fun right? so, well, let's start at the beginning. I'm a student of yours and, and I want to take lessons. Mm -hmm. You say the first thing you have to learn how to do is catch the horse. What's mm -hmm. the proper way to catch a horse? Well, as predators, we tend to go in there. We, you know, pick up our lead line and we walk in and we focus on the horse that we want and we walk straight towards it. And we wonder why they all scatter. <laughs> like, Who is this going right. here with that like Exactly. <laughs> but what we're doing is we're demonstrating classic predator behavior. We're focusing, we're walking on a straight line. Horses, if you ever watch them, and I, I always encourage people to just watch your horses. You know, watch them out there with, the, with each other because you'll learn so much just by observing. But if you ever watch, horses always walk in arcs around each other. They never go on straight lines. The way they carry themselves, um, is a very natural, calm type of, of carriage rather than that abrupt, you know, focused oh, look that we have, have right? right? And I always tell people, you know, your horsemanship starts the minute that your horse sees you, and that could be when you get out of the car right. and they see you from across the field. Because we were talking how far they can see and hear yeah. from a great distance. So yes, basically as soon as you walk into the barn. Absolutely. So the way I carry myself, if I'm over there and I want to catch my horses over here, the way I'm carrying myself, will determine how that horse is going to respond to me. So you're going to teach us how to catch a horse without hiding the halter behind our backs, Yeah, right? without having a feed bucket, too. <laughs> okay, let's go to Yeah, it. most people do the feed and shake thing. <laughs> <laughs> My student Jody's here right now, and Jody is someone who came to me that was looking not only for riding instruction, but looking for horsemanship instruction, which is what I love. <laughs> so um, one of the first lessons I taught Jody is how to go into a paddock with a herd situation like this and catch a horse. So Jody, if it's okay with you, I'm going to hand you the lead line and you can go in and I'll stay out here and coach you. But at this point, Jody pretty much knows the principles. She knows to arc around the horse, not go on a direct straight line towards her. She knows to keep her body relaxed, not make eye contact and she's doing a great job so far. And Sasha's just kind of munching on hay and she sees her, but she's not really acknowledging her yet. Jody and Sasha actually have a very nice relationship and you could see that expression on Sasha's face right now when she sees her. She's like, oh, my friend is here. <laughs> yeah. So Jody, if you want to just start arcing around this way, It, and only as far as her shoulder. Now why are you only going as far as the shoulder? Because once you get behind the shoulder, then that puts Jody in the driving position where she's actually asking her to move away from her. So anything from the shoulder in front is keeping the horse from moving away. So Jody, she's already acknowledging you by looking at you. So if you want, you could just turn and arc a little closer or she's might, she might be ready to take a step or two towards you already. I would arc again and just walk around her. Don't be too slow because you don't want to act like a prowling cat. Sometimes when we are approaching our horses, we want to be soft and gentle, but we're so soft and gentle that we 
come across as being very slow in our movements into a horse that's actually scary because it looks like a prowling cat. So now Sasha's looking at her. Yeah. Now she you likes her hay. She likes her hay better. <laughs> so now would you, would you wait so, for Sasha to take a step to her or not? Um, just go no, right Jody, I would keep barking around her until she makes a connection with you. And just have a lot of purpose in your movements. And what's the connection you're looking for? I'm just asking, I'm looking for Sasha to take a step towards her. And she's, she's interested. You can arc closer to her, Jody. Yeah. Keep going around, keep going around. Just see if she'll catch up with you. Keep going around. Keep going around, keep walking. Arc right there. There you go. There you go. <laughs> they really do have a nice connection. Oh, it's really, really nice to see. Better. Yeah, she's just going to kind of introduce herself to her. <laughs> Sasha's like, you got anything for me? <laughs> I just gave up my hate. Right. <laughs> you better have something better. <laughs> So that's how you catch your horse. That's how you catch your horse. 